Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, July 12th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this would be a video for you. A couple of quick clarifications. Number one, the price you see right there will be changing and the candlestick you see right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. And I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, ELOX, monster move today. And what I like even more so about it is a good solid pattern has now formed and as I draw this pattern into place, I'm gonna go, whoops, let's change that. But as I draw this pattern, just realize that I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to apply this to some sort of great discovery or anything like that. You gotta think that a lot of people have drawn this pattern. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same pattern and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movements. And what we have here is a bull pennant pattern. So maybe to make it easier to see, We'll keep it one cover so we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the explosion right there, and then a few golfers out there will make it a little bit more visual, put the golf hole down here, and again, a bull pennant pattern. So are there guarantees? Absolutely not, but is it valid? Is it plausible to think that if the price can come back up here and get a break up through that pattern, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? That is certainly a plausible outcome. Again, not guaranteed, but more than plausible. So if you like this price range down below $10, you like bull pennant patterns, I'd certainly keep an eye on it. Next one, ADIL for you penny stock players out there. Good solid volume today. And now we have a good pattern here that has formed. So map out a couple of levels here that again, you gotta think that a lot of people are watching. Main level of resistance right there at 50 cents. Uh, now, do I think that this is a massive potential self-filling prophecy point? I'm not gonna say that as much as the other one because yeah, maybe the, some people are saying, no, I think it's at 52. Other people are maybe calling it 55. In my opinion, 50 cents is the key level to watch here. Um, as resistance, but if you disagree with that, uh, then I, I can uh, you know respect that. As far as you know supports, I'd keep a close eye on those because right here, last 30 minutes, as you can see, pretty big pullbacks. Not like the charts ruined or anything like that, but there's also no doubt about it that there has been a bigger pullback here. So, you know, which brings the question of you know does this thing want to pull back a bit more, which makes an interesting potential pullback point right down there around the 33 cent mark. So if you would consider yourself more so a pullback trader, uh, then 33 cents could provide a nice little, you know, risk reward entry point there. But anyway, look at it, big volume today. And that's always an important part for these penny stocks. So if you like these sorts of scenarios, certainly keep an eye on it. Next one here, RIVN, talked about this one yesterday and how, uh, in my opinion, it needed to pull back a bit more. And it did pull back some, uh, but as I talked about in yesterday's video, just because something pulled back doesn't mean that it's, you know, massive blood or anything like that. And that's essentially what happened here. So this was, the, there was this pattern, price came down here, has broken through the bottom of it. But within the grand scheme of things, everything is still perfectly fine. And that is because the price is doing a fantastic job of staying up above that purple line there, which on my chart denotes the 50 period moving average. So from a big picture point of view, as long as the price does stay above that moving uh, average there, which you, if you just want to look at as a tread line that's drawn itself for you, uh, you know, you could do that too. But as long as the price stays above the quote unquote tread line here, then the overall trend is well still in the bullish direction. So yeah, bit of more of a pullback here, uh, but by no means uh, anything so nasty or anything like that. And then in terms of what I would call a self-filling prophecy point, you gotta think that a bunch of people have drawn that trend line right there. By connecting that point and that point, it has done a fantastic job of forecasting this little uh, resistance right here, which brings about a, a fun question to ask, is this the start of something potentially bigger? Are the bulls about to push up through that trend line and maybe push to new highs and continue on with the trend of higher highs? Uh, we'll see with that. But like I said, the price is knocking on the door to that trend line. Does it break? Does it get more continuation? That's certainly a valid question to ask headed into Wednesday. Next one, CGC uh, can't, has come back to life once again. Uh, we had a false kind of a sense of excitement here, big move up, and then the price essentially gave back all those gains. But like I said, to be fair, another surge up today. So it really just is a question now of can the price actually maintain these gains? And I realize maintain the gains is just, uh, you know, kind of words. And that's why I love charts because they allow you to take words, take phrases and make them very quantifiable. So when I say maintain the gains, what I'm saying is maintain up there above the 50 cent mark. And I'm not saying this will be the case, but just for explanation's sake, it, let's say the price comes down here, bounces around and then curls back up. What would you have from the bigger picture point of view? You'd have a set of lows there, you'd have lows there, you'd have lows down here. And if you envision these as stair steps, what do you have? Well, you'd have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And that's what it's all about, showing signs of progress. So again, in this situation, quote unquote, the sign of progress, in my opinion, staying up above there at 50 cents. In terms of levels of resistance, main level to watch now headed 
into the foreseeable future right up there at the 60 cent mark. You can see 60 cents provided a problem there. And then once again, right there. So right up between 59, 60 cents can be the key level, but no doubt about it. Nice move today. And let's just see if the price can now show signs of progress, unlike what it did the last time it made a big move. Next one, AMC talked about this in yesterday's video, more specifically talked about this falling wedge pattern and how this was a bullish pattern. And wouldn't you know it today, got the gap up through the pattern and then continuation further up. Nice, exciting final 30 minutes. In fact, you can see right there, volume bar down there, last 30 minutes really came strong. So overall, classic example of the falling wedge there, which I, I realize sounds like a bearish pattern, but it's actually a bullish pattern. So let's get some new levels mapped out. First key level to watch very closely now headed forward. And I can't, I think the price got rejected from there. Yeah, right here at $4.44. You can see former area of support, then acting as resistance and then acting as resistance once again during that last 30 minutes. So 445, 444, right around that area, gonna be that initial area of resistance. And then as far as supports are concerned, you now wanna see the price start to maintain itself up above that purple line there. You can see this morning drop down and had a beautiful bounce off of it. So as that purple line itself continues to work its way higher and higher, you know, again, you can picture that as a tread line that's gonna draw itself for you. So as this tread line trends in the upwards direction by staying above the uptrending tread line, that would make, or that would imply that the price is itself put in those higher bases, which is what you wanna see. But overall, falling wedge breakout, not just a question of can this breakout get continuation up through that resistance. Let's see what happens. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here in just a couple of days. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. Next, ticker symbol TSLA, Tesla, and overall hanging in there just fine bit more of a pullback here but you know with the, in, the, in the grand scheme of things uh, it basically went sideways today and within the bigger grand scheme of things in my mind nothing to worry about at all because the price is still doing a fantastic job of staying above the pink line there the 200 period moving average but even if the price were to drop below there once again it depends on your strategy but even if the price were to drop below that pink line looking there you can see that from the big picture point of view the trend would still be very much so in the upward direction, but narrowing things back down and looking at it from more of a trading standpoint, a break of that pink line there very realistically could create some additional uh, self-filling prophecy selling to the downside, which just to reiterate, does not mean that the entire chart is going to be epically destroyed. But from a trading standpoint, there could be some downside potential there, but you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself because so far so good. Not only has that pink line held strong, it hasn't even been technically tested. If this little bounce upwards here is going to continue, the main level of resistance to watch closely is going to be right there the 50 period moving average right now valued exactly at $273. Next one here, M-U-L-N. Not a whole lot to talk about other than just reiterating some of these levels that I talked about. So the first thing I wanna do here is update this tread line because this tread line, which I drew in yesterday's video, you can see the power of tread line. So I'll turn that into a quick plug. Go get signed up for that free class. Are charts perfect? No, but there's certainly a very valuable tool. And I'll explain more of that in the class. So go get signed up for it. But we have a real life example of that here. So on that note, I do wanna extend this tread line out and we're gonna to continue to track it moving forward, which makes it very interesting because last 30 minutes, you can see price was basically knocking at the door of that tread line, which again, brings up the question, can the price break through it? If it does, is it gonna bring in more momentum? And that's what a watch this is all about, finding unique, finding interesting situations, and not rushing out randomly buying stuff, but watching it and seeing how things play out. So if you find that dynamic interesting in the sense of can it break through that line and asking those sorts of questions, then keep an eye on it. And then if the price does pull back, uh, as I've talked about before, key level of support gonna be that pink line there. So in some senses, a falling wedge pattern has also formed. So we have resistance, or excuse me, support, we have resistance. So right there, uh, maybe people would disagree and I don't think I'd, complete, I'd understand, but there is certainly a wedge dynamic here that's forming. So if you like penny stocks and like these sorts of patterns, certainly keep an eye on it. Next one here, ATVI. And along the lines of what I just talked about in terms of watch lists, finding unique, finding interesting situations, we have that here. Uh, I would consider this a very unique, a very interesting situation. I uh, had the news out and all that. So absolutely huge volume, huge price movement, and it's now formed a nice little pattern here. So it's really just a question of can the price continue on up? So get this pattern in place. We have a resistance. We have our support right there. So again, let me change that to represent more so a support dynamic, and then I keep this all the same color. Resistance, support, big upwards move there, have ourselves another little bull pennant pattern. So if you like bull pennants, you like these sorts of, uh, you know, potential self-filling prophecy situations, certainly keep an eye on this one. Next one, 
M-A-R-A, and the uptrend continues, higher highs, higher lows. It's had some pullbacks, and as I've said, I think during both these pullbacks at least, nothing to freak out about because you know pullbacks are healthy, nothing can go straight up, and those have proven to once again provide higher highs. So you know overall, that is the, the big picture context, very nice uptrend in terms of in the nearer term, key dynamics to keep an eye on, first from a resistance standpoint, right there at $17 and 55 cents and then from the support standpoint in the very near term have a nice little trend line like that which once again gives you a, a good little pattern there but i want to be very clear on this trend line even if the price breaks through that trend line does not mean the entire charts destroyed or ruined because even a break of that would still have it very much so above that uh, purple line there which you now know is that 50 period moving average so yes of course preferably speaking won't make the chart look the best if the price can get a you know surge up through that level but by no means is that a requirement in order for the chart to still look bullish uh, this thing's got a lot of wiggle room within it which just illustrates how powerful the current uptrend is Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you believe the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise, this one will also rise and it makes it a very popular ETF. And what makes it, at least in my opinion, most interesting is all about that last 30 minutes, last 30 minutes of the day, big surge in volume, nice green candle there. And what makes it specifically a nice green candle is not because it was, you know, kind of on the larger side, but because it actually was able to push up through that area of resistance, which now brings about the very exciting question is this break the start of something bigger? Now think about that question. It makes no sense to ask that question if nothing happens. Because to say, is this the start of something bigger wouldn't make any sense. Is the start of what? I mean, nothing happened, but that's not the case here, right? Something big did happen. Something work worthwhile did happen. Now to be very fair, maybe it's not. Maybe this thing just rolls right back over. But that is a two-sided coin because, well, I mean, maybe it is the start of something much bigger. And this thing is only getting started of a much bigger move to the upside. And like I said, that's what a watch this is all about. So if you find these sorts of situations, if you find these sorts of questions interesting to be asking in the sense of, all right, breakout occurred. Yes. So technically speaking, I can't play the breakout. But if this is the breakout of a much bigger breakout, then there could still be a lot of meat left on the bone, though. So if you like those sorts of circumstances, certainly keep an eye on it. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to definitely get signed up for the free live class in a couple of days. It'll be Thursday, July 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do two things for me. Hit the like button, leave a comment below. Those help out, help out the channel, help out the videos and communicate to me that you're enjoying. As long as I know that you are enjoying, I'll continue to put in the time and effort to get this content out to you. So hit that like button, leave a comment down below and go get signed up for that free class.